Hello and welcome to another episode of Dick Small Engines. Now in this episode we're going to have a little look at the Husqvarna K760 cut-off saw which you would have seen in the previous video but I picked this up um, a fair few years ago now. Um, I forgot I had it to be honest. Um, uh, initially when I picked it up uh, got it on the got it very cheap. Um, it, it was running, but the last time I went to fire, it took ooh, 12, 14 months ago, I couldn't get to fire. So initially I'll put you on a bit of time lapse while I'll carry out the ignition and uh, compression test. Um, and then we'll go over to the bench, have a look where we're at. I'll see you in a minute. Right, as we've just seen on this unit, we've got good spark, good compression, so I'm believing it's a fuel issue, having, having the machine, uh, it's been sat for 12, 14 months, so I'm going to strip the carb out and I'll come back to you. So now the, the carb assembly has been removed from this K760 unit, so I just want to show you a prime example of why you your cut off saws need servicing regularly. I mean, look at all this debris in here. There, here is a pickup fuel line whereby the fuel fit will sit in the, in the tank and pick up fuel into the carb. This here is our return line, but as you can see, all this debris in here. Um, he's obviously going to want to clean out, but he's a prime example of what these cut off swords need servicing regularly. The, uh, the boot has been removed, it's always good to inspect this boot for any um, fractures or abrasion. This one needs a clean up, but it looks good. Otherwise, if, I mean, if there is any fractures or um, cracks in it, your machine won't run correctly. And here's the carb. So I'm going to strip this down and it's going to have a bathe in the ultrasonic. So there's the carb. The gaskets and diaphragms, not too bad on the, um, all considering. But I'm going to replace them anyway, so I'll have to order them in. So it's uh, going to have a bathe in the ultrasonic. from kit for the H760 unit part number 7212 door from a gasket for this unit so the carbs are rebuilt no dive in the ultrasonic no gaskets, diaphragm, so that's all very built, ready to go up on the unit, you can see all the old gaskets there, uh, so I'm going to get on and uh, get it fitted up on the unit, get the unit rebuilt, right, K760, um, where are we at? Rebuilt the carb, new diaphragms, gaskets, uh, fuel lines, pickup, uh, 
return, uh, vacuum line, new fuel filter, new plug, um, new pull cord. Uh, oh. Uh, gone for a fire up off camera, still not getting any joy. Um, so I've stripped the machine down again thus far. Belt's good, clutch is good. Uh, if you have a look in here, I'll get my inspection camera in there in a bit, but. I've got good, I'm getting good compression readings off the compression tester. Um, zoom you in a bit. Where are we going? I mean, the rings look good, bit of carbon build up on the piston head. Not sure I can see, but there's quite a bit of scoring on that piston. Um, but like I said, the exhaust off, as you can see, you can see right down into the, the piston. It's a fair bit of scoring, but I'm still getting good readings off of the compression tester, so... Um, might be a case. Of the top end rebuild, um, but I'll, I'll uh, build the machine back, fit it all back together, and we'll go for another fire. Up. But it's looking like it could be a top end rebuild on this unit, which um, so we'll see when I've fitted it all back up. Right, rebuild, let's try and have a fire up, choke. Couple of two, three primes. Let's see they do. Take compression valves in. Bugger all. Let's further investigate. Right, so I've got the uh, top air filter assembly stripped out in the boots, the carb assembly. You can see the new fuel lines fitted. Um, see our pickup here from the tank that it is priming. So there you can see the fuel from the pickup, new fuel filter, getting pickup from the tank to the carb. Um, so I'm going to have a look at this carb again, I'll get that stripped down and I'll come back to you. Right, so previously rebuilt the carb, which I did off camera, um, if you remember serves me correct. Um, I only ordered a gasket and diaphragm uh, kit for this uh, K760 unit. Um, metering um, diaphragm. What I didn't order was a metering lever and a needle and pin because um, I'm not happy with the the um, that, that the metering levers there is quite set as it should be um, so I've ordered a new metering lever and um, sorry a new kit including the door from a gasket um, comes with the kit anyway so I'll have a, a spare anyway because I've got another K760 unit to look at. So when that comes, we'll get all that fitted up. Um, still not convinced. Um, even though I'm getting good compression readings of over 100 PSI on the compression test. That piston and uh, bore looks uh, scored, but doesn't quite explain why I'm getting such good compression readings, but could be a case of a top in 
rebuild. But um, we'll see what happens when I've got all this uh, the car rebuilt. <clears throat> right, here we are with the uh, endoscope inside the ball. best possible footage here. Getting a bit of a glare off the uh, the light in the workshop. So we can see that there is a bit of scoring, a bit of carbon build up on the the piston head itself and some quite visible scoring not the worst I've ever seen let's try and move him out a bit get around there there it's quite apparent Try and maneuver this endoscope itself so I can show you what. It's quite a bit of visible scoring in there, but then, like I say, we've still got over 100 psi on off of the compression test reading. Not sure how it works. You'll be able to see that, but I can see it quite clearly. So there we have it, the K760 Husqvarna cutoff suit up to press. Um, not happy that metering lever is um, seated and set as it should be. Not convinced um, of the needle within the carb also. Um, like I say, it's been rebuilt once, it's been stripped back down. Uh, so I've ordered a new carb rebuild set. Obviously I'm gonna keep with the in initial uh, rebuild gasket and diaphragm. Um, so I'm just waiting on the, um, the carb rebuild kit. Um, just come on into the Dick Small Engines workshop. Um, so we'll see where we get on then. I mean, uh, you would have seen also from the um, images enclosed in the, the video of the um, piston and the bore itself. There is score in there, granted, but the compression readings off of the compression test are reading 100 psi plus. So we've got good compression. Um, like I say, there is score in there, so I can't imagine that being an issue, but until I rebuild this carb again, um, we're not gonna know. Could be a top engine uh, rebuild, but the compression readings are telling me different. Um, but like I say, you see yourself, there is score in there, and I, I obviously see it myself. Um, so there will be a part two for this. Um, when I try delivering the parts. Um, if you like what you saw on this episode of Dick Small Engines, give us a thumbs up, drop any comments down there, any suggestions, that would be much appreciated. Feel free to check out my Amazon wish list. Um, that all helps in um, contributing to the growth of my channel. So until the next one, take care, draw for now.